Well, I found us a pretty secluded spot here. I'm in northern Park County. Doing a little day trip. Gonna check out some of this uh, gravel bar here on this little creek. And this is the North Fork of the South Platte River. This is a gold bearing river system, so we'll see if it's bearing any gold in this location. Make sure my heathens don't get away. So there's plenty of creek here, a lot of opportunities. This is actually a little island here. The creek splits up above. So I'm gonna poke around here for a little bit and see what I can find, if anything. Brought my basics. Don't have my camping equipment with me. This is just my uh, prospecting equipment. Got my garrets. Got a spade in there. Hidden in there is a bazooka sluice and uh, any other small attachments that I that I might need. Uh, crevicing items. Uh, got some food and water. And I got my defenders against bears and cougars. Yeah, wish me luck. Well, it's an absolutely gorgeous spot. Bugs aren't too bad. Got flies and no mosquitoes that I can see. These two are having a little nap. Did eight test pans. Got a little bit of flour. Uh, not a lot of black sands in this location. So not a lot of uh, not a lot of indications there. But there is flour washing down from somewhere. There's a reservoir further upstream, a few miles. And I wanted to hit it here because this stream is dumping into uh, another reservoir, a little small one there, uh, about a half mile that away. So, all right, well, I did the test panning on this. Looks like we're gonna get a little bit of rain. It's kind of passing over, hopefully. Oh, there it is. So I'm gonna hop in the Jeep, head down the creek past that reservoir a little bit. Let these two walk around for a little, and then we'll uh, see if we can get some more uh, sample panning done. Alright. There we are. This is a former four-wheel drive road back up in there. And they've decided uh, it's actually still is a four-wheel drive, but Park Services takes it upon themselves to put boulders. They don't officially stop you from going up there. And there's a four-wheel drive that goes up that way. But they put the boulders there to... Hopefully you'll change your mind when you see it on a map and you see four-wheel drive. So, if you have a four-wheel drive vehicle and you want to go to Colorado, Colorado, if you don't already live here, and uh, uh, close to motorcycles, okay. So when you look at the map and it says four-wheel drive, don't count on it, especially if it's a dotted line because damn near every single one of them I've seen that said four-wheel drive road has a big-ass boulder block in it. Yeah. Thanks Ranger Rick. But what it does tell me though is that if I want to get up to the top of that ridge up there that I have a walking path that I can walk on so that's fine. It's not like I'm hauling a bunch of stuff anyway. It's, you know, a backpack. All right, so 285 should be about a mile and a half up the road. It's a fee area. Geneva Creek. It's a beautiful creek. top of the world, on the top of the world right here. This is the, uh, the pass. I think it's Nuella. If you haven't figured out, you haven't watched my videos how hard time affords. But as you can see, we're above trees. Well, there's some trees off down there below us. Here's the summit overlook. Summit overlook. I'm gonna check that out. up there. About 15-20 minutes ago it was 77 degrees and now it's 59 degrees. Right 
there are trees. Oh, we better slow down. Watch out for strays out here. What's up, little lady? Stay off this road. What's up, Buck? Your four pointer. Oh, guardrail. Yep, he's a four pointer. Still got fuzz on him. Cool. And then down there is the uh, town of Georgetown. What's up, Miss Ma'am? Cool. And this is the town of Georgetown. If I'm not mistaken, that's Interstate 70 right up there. Diesels are going by. And 70 will take me right into Denver. Right. Totally wouldn't suck to live here. So they say that there's a cell sign. Bit of a step up from the ghetto that I'm currently living in. Alright, well, I should pay attention. Thanks for watching, guys.